Lego just confirmed a huge update for Star Wars. Now, as you guys can see from the official Lego Fortnite Twitter and Instagram, they released this image here that has Peely holding a lightsaber in survival mode on Lego Fortnite, which is huge because people thought we would only get Lego style skins and maybe a mini game. Now, it also looks like we're getting brand new build pieces. So this originally looks like the shack builds, but it does it look like a lot of the brand new Star Wars pieces can be put on top of these shack builds. So these look like windows, these look like new doors, these look like new decorations on the front of these buildings, and it also looks like new stuff that you could put on the roof of these buildings. Now I'm not 100% sure if this stuff is going to be free or part of a Lego set bundle, but I would assume because of most of it is just decoration, they want people to enjoy Star Wars, so this stuff should be free. Now, if we flip to the other side, we almost kind of get that same exact thing where now we have brand new shack windows that are dedicated to the Star Wars update. It looks like we have a generator or a power cell area, as well as once again, more satellites going on the roof of our builds. Again, we don't think that this is going to be the only update for Lego Star Wars as far as builds go, but this is a really good start to the different type of items that we could get in the game. Now, this was the preview trailer that we got to the Animal Farm update just a few days before they gave us that update. And what you guys knew from this specifically was they didn't actually tell us or show us too much. We got the hint that we were getting animals to live with us, but they never actually showed us anything like that. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because when it comes to that Lego Star Wars trailer image with Peely holding the lightsaber, it doesn't show us too much. We could see brand new builds we could see the lightsaber and that's enough to get us excited but we know that there's still five days until this update actually comes out which means that we are going to get a ton more trailers and previews for this update to hype us up even more now we still have so much to break down so if this video gets one thousand likes i'll give away one lego set star wars bundle to somebody down in the comment section below now the trailer image image for Star Wars that they posted with Peely holding the lightsaber confirms a leaked image that we saw over a week ago. We're on this preview image right here at the very bottom of the screen as it wasn't fully released shows the exact same Peely with that headband rocking the exact same blue lightsaber while fighting a stormtrooper. So it appears as though that this leaked image here is absolutely correct. We also know that we are getting Chewbacca thanks to a previous image that lego fortnite posted out but this also looks like we can confirm that the x-wing and the tie fighter will be releasing into lego fortnite as well now don't forget about the leaked roadmap image that we got of star wars where we were actually able to see the star destroyer image on here which looked absolutely huge in game now i'm not sure if this means we'll get a limited time event with the star destroyer i'm not sure if this is releasing day one of this update and we'll talk about that but it does look like all of these leaks that we've gotten over the past few weeks for lego fortnite and star wars are coming to be true in every single way so it does look like we will be getting the star destroyer in some aspect of the game now speaking of the roadmap one of the more important things when it comes to this is that this image shows that the lego star wars event should be lasting from early may which is may 3rd all the way until mid-June. So this is a month and a half long event. So it doesn't mean that we're going to get everything day one when it releases. This is something that could start rolling out every two weeks or every week where we get a brand new item or a brand new map or a brand new POI into our worlds that has to do with lego star wars again this is not a confirmed roadmap just every single thing so far has actually come out to be accurate so let's hope and let's assume that this is correct and that this will be a month and a half long lego star wars event now first things first i have to shout out epic for giving me an early cosmetic grant to the nba blacktop baller set this is just one of them you guys know i have to rock trigger 
fish at all points. So that means that I'm going to rock the one that literally has him on the jersey. But this comes with two customizable base outfits for BR, but 10 different preset Lego styles. The entire bundle costs 2,400 V-Bucks, but you get 10 skins out of it, which means that it's about 240 V-Bucks per skin, which might be the cheapest bundle in the game. So make sure that you guys use the creator code of Crafty Plays, and shout out to Epic once again for going ahead and giving me early access to this. Now I'm inside of my OG base, and the reason why I'm in here is to talk about some of the things that might be necessary in order to create a lightsaber in game. Now this isn't 100% confirmed, and I'm sure that we will find out more over the course of this week, but I do have a ton of ruby stacked up just in case we're going to need that in order to unlock a red lightsaber. I also have a bunch of sapphire unlocked just in case you need this for a blue lightsaber. Now, I do also have them cut as well. Once again, just in case. You may also need a bunch of glass, iron, bright core, and a bunch of different materials that should be considered pretty rare if we're going to unlock these items. Now, inside of your guys' crafting bench, when you go over to a sword, obviously you're not going to see the lightsaber in here. But in order to make a hunting dagger, you need cut sapphire and malachite slabs. And in order to make yourself a good long sword, you need iron bars. So if we're going to get a lightsaber in the game that is actually going to be extremely good to use, you would have to imagine it's going to cost a little bit inside of your workbench so i absolutely recommend getting as many sapphire ruby amber and anything that could be a deemed rare ore in order to get to use this in game just in case it doesn't require the ores another item that makes sense to use on a lightsaber would go ahead and be the power cells now these are used as a battery inside of your vehicles right now and as we know in real life you would have to put a battery into a lightsaber so just knowing that stacking up on a ton of biomass and then also on a ton of power cells might be worth it for this item if you're somebody that's struggling to get these items you are going to need a compost bin this is what's going to create that biomass for you you can put pretty much anything inside of here that has to do with food and different items like that but the absolute glitchiest method to do is to collect one spicy pepper as the seed will never disappear Throw that into a grain mill to make yourself two pepper seeds. And once you're done making those two pepper seeds, you're actually going to put this in back to the compost bin and that will give you a little bit of biomass. So your pepper seeds are an infinite amount. You will never run out of those and you could actually throw them into here and get yourself some free biomass.